With the chef show, how it works is that wherever we go, we have the local chef from the area. Mm. So in Leicester, um, you will be our guest restaurant and our guest chef. Mm -hmm. okay. So tell us a bit about your restaurant and how you ended up. Yeah, yeah, place. sure. I've been in the restaurant trade now for since I was um, 16, uh, mid 80s. We, my brother, who bought the the restaurant he was working at, okay. um, when we when we emigrated over here finally. Uh, we were nine, but my brother, eldest brother, was uh, almost approaching 15, so he didn't have much of an education. Uh, as soon as he was able to work, he, uh, he started to work in a local curry house. Um, my dad passed away two years later, so he literally became the bread earner. What kind of food do you do here then? Is it specific? Is it a range of like... It, it is a range, it, but it's um, what I tend to do is our menu is in pages and pages, because you get in a lot of Indian restaurants. I've taken uh, my experience of the Shimla Pinks, it's very North Indian Punjabi food. Okay. So I've taken my favourites from there. We Bangladeshi, we have a lot of fish, Bangladeshi fish, fish recipes, a few recipes like, you know, uh, uh, the Pakistan with the biryanis, side of So I've taken uh, each region that the menu covers, it's the favourite dishes from there. It was the Bangladeshis who took the chili and made it into an atom bowl, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, there's a lot of debate where there, if you go to Nagaland, which is part of India, which literally borders uh, uh, Bangladesh. Bangladesh, North Bangladesh, there's a huge debate. The people from the Indian border say Nag is our chili, and the Bangladeshis say no, it's our chili. So there is, it's almost like the Kashmiri conflict <laughs> <laughs> it's over, over chili. Over, over chili. <laughs> There's three of these ingredients just were thrown in with onions and chicken and just boiled into a stew mm -hmm. and it just looked like bobbing with pieces of chicken. And we actually we actually set up a little kitchen here, we actually cooked it, but um but it it, it was just, but at that but in Britain it was it was the most common um Recipe, exotic recipe that was used from the uh, from the British Empire. Something that you said about the theatre, how it's trying to be more inclusive. Mm. I mean, that's one thing I found about working in the theatre is that it can be quite limited in terms of people that come. Mm -hmm. So it's really lovely to see with this show the range of people are coming to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially Leicester. Leicester. I, I, I actually coined a phrase a few years ago when we were uh, trying to get a cultural city. Uh, in Europe, I think we lost a hole in the end. Oh yeah. Uh, I didn't manage to do that. <laughs> but, uh, but no, Leicester. I feel um, uh, I said it. And this sort of encapsulates what the city is all about. I think it's the poster city of multiculturalism, mm -hmm. not just in in in, uh, in Britain. I think in the whole world. Uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fact now that Leicester is the first city in the Western Hemisphere where the native English are not the majority. It's such a uh, brilliant cross section of society or mm. of, of cultures around the world that live in Leicester. So, uh, I mean, that's one of the great things about theatre is that it yeah. brings people together. Yeah. It brings yeah. characters and stories that mm. you wouldn't see on the stage. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and this show particularly, it's, it's an award-winning show. We won the Royal Prize last year. Didn't we? Wow, yeah. the best yeah. touring show out of three hundred shows. Really? Wow, that yeah, is it, that is yeah. It's, yeah. it's quite an achievement no, for Stefan brilliant. and his well, company. Yeah. One of the things I'm really proud about this place that when we have gone to rural areas, we're bringing kind of particularly the Bangladeshi culture mm. to a community that's quite white yeah. uh, and quite English. But what's lovely is that the whole show tells the story of the kind of human condition. There's uh, elements of domestic violence, mm. or theme of domestic violence um, in the show. There's themes of racism. 
But it's the way that that theatre, the food, and the whole concept of the, the chef show is, mm. is kind of making it inclusive. And I think it's what's lovely is that's the way theatre should be going now. Mm. You, as a restaurateur, uh, must see a story on each table with your locals. And I think that's basically one of the themes of the show, isn't mm. it? That each table, or each person that comes to the restaurant, as well as the people who own the restaurant, mm. as well as the chef who demonstrate, mm. has a story mm. to tell.